Joining me now to talk more about the U.N. climate change report is Paul Bledsoe, senior fellow with the German Marshall Fund's Climate and Energy Program and a former advisor to the Clinton administration. Paul, you know, uh, journalists tend to look at these things and look for the headlines, and I imagine somebody who's really in there in the weeds. What jumps out at you? Well, I think the report is finding that unless we reduce emissions drastically, we're in for not just a little bit warmer planet, but a hugely warmer planet where the basic agricultural uh, and other uh, bases of our economy are going to be changed in huge ways. I'm talking about huge uh, uh, floods, droughts, wildfires, uh, coastal flooding. I mean, really huge changes in the way mankind occupies the planet unless we take action. You know, what's interesting, I think, when I, when I, you know, I saw details, I haven't read the whole report, but one of the things that I thought really jumped out at me was the, the level of scientists a few years back, how they felt about this, and you see the progression where, I think the number's like 95% now. So there's it. now only a 20 to one chance. There's only one chance in 20 that they are wrong, that this is man-made and could have potentially catastrophic effects. So there's 95% certainty. By the way, we never ask for that high level of certainty in, uh, in national security policy or in economic policy. So this is virtually certain. Let me ask you this. Is this the veritable wake-up call then? Do you think uh, the message is getting through? I think it is, and including to the Chinese leadership who are beginning to take a whole series of actions in their own self-interest. You know, the head of the uh, International Panel on Climate Change at the UN, Pachari, said last week that the uh, water supply for 250 million Chinese may be reduced markedly within 20 years unless the Chinese and the rest of the world take actions. We're talking about huge impacts, not minor ones. We've just seen, as it were, the tip of the iceberg. The glaciers in the Himalayas are melting. There are all sorts of actions we need to take urgently or I'm afraid that the economic growth in China and elsewhere around the world, as well as the well-being of the citizenry, are really going to be in peril. Well, Paul, I can't thank you enough for coming in and talking to us tonight. Obviously, a very important report that just came out. We certainly appreciate your insights. My pleasure.